back up. Comic cast. All right. Okay, this is this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. Right. Official start of Kame cast. Kame cast. Kame cast. Kame hame ha cast. Kame cast. Whatever you want to call it. Basically, Goku and podcasting. Um. I have to sign into my Twitch again because sign me out for some reason. Say, uh, yeah, that should be it. Cool. All right. Did Ope try to move you away from fighting games? Um, he did, but I think it was like kind of jokey. I don't think he was like serious. I think he was. It was more like just make sure you like focus on your studies first and foremost um but we will get to that um let, let me let me start from the like very beginning like from back in the day okay so pff, my gaming history i guess the first game i really played was chess the first ever game i played like i can remember playing was chess um and i think that kind of in a subconscious way shaped the way I think about games um, in, a, in a good way I think um, so I, I must have played chess when I was maybe like 7 maybe a bit older 9 years old or something um, yeah my parents are African came over here from, from there um, and then started living here and yeah the first game I played was chess um, now I'm playing <coughs> currently playing actively Dragon Ball Fighters and Mortal Kombat 11. Um, like I said earlier, I'm a university student. Um, currently studying aerospace engineering. Um, before fighting games, like recently, in the last couple of years, I was playing Overwatch. I think I started playing Overwatch in 2016, 2016, 2017. Um, and I played that up until 2018. Um, I stopped playing it because it was too like team dependent in my opinion i couldn't even if i thought that i could do certain things in the game i would still have to rely on five other people to be on the same page um and really it, it I, most, of the, most of the time it was okay but a good portion of the time it wasn't and it wasn't the good wasn't outweighing the bad like re, the good was not outweighing the bad the pro scene in the in the what's it called in the the pro Overwatch scene was like full of drama, done really badly. The balance was pretty bad. The nerf system, like they kept nerfing and buffing same characters, and like they wouldn't let shit just chill for like a really long time. And it kind of sucked. It was just like it was never really stable. I feel, um, and they, they it felt like they didn't really know where they wanted to go with the game. They didn't know what direction the, the game they wanted the game to take. So I moved away from Overwatch. Um, prior to that. I was obviously at A levels. Um, I didn't actually. I pretty much didn't play any console games between the years of 2013 to 2015. I pretty much didn't play anything. Um, I didn't have. I had an Xbox 360, but I stopped playing that because it kind of went out of date. PS4 came out, I think, or PS3 came out. Everyone kind of jumped on that. Um, first game I played on the Xbox was I think Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, Shouts to S3 Diva. <laughs> yeah, shouts to season three, bro. Shouts to season two Genji. That's that's the real shit. But yeah. Um, so I kind of I stopped. So yeah, I had um, Xbox 360. Played a played a couple of games. I played. I actually played a couple of fighting games. I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I played Street Fighter vs. Tekken. I played uh, Budokai 3 Remastered. Um, I also played. There was another one I played. I can't remember what it was. I think oh Tekken. Tekken, I didn't play it very well though. I was pretty shit. I think it was Tekken five, maybe six. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's um, especially my history of fight over games in general, um, and fighting games. Um, but I've always been a fan of Dragon Ball. Um, always said if they ever bought like a real Dragon Ball game out, that's when I get into it. Um, my cousins, Oper, some of you guys already know him. He's very big in the not, uh, not big, but he's very into the drag like fighting fighting game scene. Um, he generally played games like Melty, GG, the one before XR, I can't remember what it's called. I think X Accent Core. I think GG Accent Core. Um, and generally those kind of games. Um, but yeah. So 
my cousins just do have a f- like history of like playing fighting games and stuff. Um, and as I said earlier, chess was my first game. So the way the chess is basically about like outsmarting your opponent and strategy and you know counterplay and stuff. And I think subconsciously that's dr- like seeped into my Dragon Ball play and fighting game play in general and my fighting game philosophy and how I view fighting games and what they're about and how the game should be played how people should go about playing the game understanding the game and um dealing with the game basically stuff like that um so that's 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 how i feel uh my you know my view on things have gone actually you know what i should do i should put chat up i'll put chat up that way when i when i upload it to when i upload it to youtube people can see what people are saying that's that's a good idea put chat and youtube up there we go let me quickly give me two sex guys okay put that there and my page is up yep i can see what i'm doing put this over there and put obs there cool perfect cool um yo i'm not going to be able to stay for the question but can you talk about the topic of playing multiple fighter games at the same time and how you've approached it because i always stuck on one game at a time okay cool yeah, definitely will do that. His name tag is uh I think what is his name tag? C4, what's his main tag? I think it's Gauntlet. Gauntlet something. Gauntlet it's a number. Gauntlet and then a number. I can't remember what is what it is. He doesn't he's not like he doesn't go to tournaments for that kind of shit. He just does like house sessions and stuff. Well he used to anyway. But yeah. Okay, so that's basically my background. If you guys have any more questions about my background and stuff, then let me know and I'll I'll answer it. <coughs> Um, but yeah, Dragon Ball, first fighting game. Um, I literally like sat down, learned the game, played tutorial, asked questions, um, labbed, and you know, went into the game with. I watched high level gameplay, I watched low level gameplay, I watched middle level gameplay. Um, this is when I was on placement like last year, and I basically just learned the game myself. I found out i like looked i searched for games like sets around me like offline sessions around me there's one in bristol at this time i was living in swindon so there's one in bristol um and there was one in london so i said all right cool i'm gonna head to the one in london and that's when i first met rmz and c4 uh i think i don't think real kid was there but obi was there um but i basically met rmz and c4 and then i was talking to up at the time um and he was like, oh yeah, I know RMZ. I was like, oh cool. He's like second best player or best player in, in, in UK right now. And I also, I think Icy was there as well. And I was like, damn, this shit's sick. Like everyone's really out here like grinding. Um, Icy was there, Foxy was there. I was first time I met Foxy as well. And I, I, I remember watching Foxy play Mortal Kombat against uh, uh, Sonic Fox. Like I can't remember what, I think it was 2015, maybe 2016. But I remember watching that, I was like, damn. That guy's really repping it. And I met him and I was like, I didn't have a fanboy moment, but I was kind of like, damn, that's like the guy on YouTube. That's the guy on Twitch. Like, that's the guy I saw. Um, I think I kept it under wraps pretty well. I was kind of like surprised he was there. But um, so yeah, I met those three, met C4. And it was like, damn, this is this is sick. I definitely want to come back. Um, and I was, that, was, that was when WSO was like regular. So... And it was like a, I think it's like a two and a two two hour journey from Swindon to London. So like you know, I I, f- I found Starstruck. <laughs> Maybe I guess so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I f- I literally searched myself. I was like, yo, where's where's where can I play this game offline? Like, because everyone's saying offline is the shit. Like offline is the one. So where can I where can I find this gameplay? So I f- searched, searched it, traveled myself, paid for the travel myself got there enjoyed it hung out with the guys and then i think they added me to a whatsapp chat and i just got stuck in i just you know and i'm, and I'm a very opinionated guy so instantly i think i made an impact in the chat and um uh just talking to like a bunch of people and i, and I was always like just trying to improve basically um like i said with ch- with the with the chess um thing it was always about like trying to make like outsmart your opponent and i was always just trying to, i was trying because i knew that i wasn't like amazing so I was trying to get to the level where it was more than just pressing buttons. It was like it was outplaying and mind games, and, and so that that's that's why 
uh, I feel like I made an impact in the chat because I was always like asking questions, basically always talking and stuff like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that'll ever change. Maybe when I get older, but for now, I feel like I'm just someone who likes to interact on um on all levels, just to like just to make everything, everyone, and everything improve. I want everything to like. I never want to stay in one place, basically. When it's something that I really enjoy and like want to get better at, like I always want to try and bring up the people around me. Um, that's why, like a lot of people in the Discord, you guys will know. I don't. Whenever I'm talking in the Discord, and I'm like telling, uh, I don't. Know, this sounds like so patronizing, but I don't know. I, I can't think of another way to say it. But whenever I'm telling someone off, like I just, I don't, I don't like, I don't hold back when I'm with my words and stuff. So you guys know that as well. Um, but whenever it's like out of the Discord, I'm a bit more reserved just because the people around me know that when i the stuff that i'm saying it comes from a good place and um so that's 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 like the thing i was talking about we're like uh wanting to bring up everyone around me the way i talk a lot of the time doesn't come off as friendly or stuff like that um and so with that obviously i got into a few altercation not altercations but like you know verbal arguments with people in the chat and stuff like that blah 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 things would get kind of heated like trolling and stuff like that um but i pretty much carried on for like a, a couple or well, maybe like i guess a year and then i went to my first tournament which was versus fighting that's it versus fighting was my first i don't i don't really count oh i, I went to my first major it was my first major which was versus fighting um and i met dogura I met Go <laughs> blocks my Nakio. <laughs> Stop. Um, I met Dogura. I do remember that. Thank you very much, Doki. <laughs> um, Dogura, Goichi, Sonic Fox, uh, The Kill Sage. Um, some really cool guys. Um, and met a bunch of other people. Um, Brawl Kid was there. RMZ was there. Um, Skillers was there. So yeah, it was sick. Moss was there as well. And... Yeah, a bunch, bunch of people. Uh, that was awesome. That was filler. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious, man. But yeah, shit happens. Um, but now I feel like I'm, I'm at a place. Well, I mean, I also got blocked by Alun the other day. Ali Osun, sorry. Uh, but we'll come to that. Uh, so yeah, it got to a point where I felt like I was like a mid mid level player i understood the game i understood the meta or meta whatever that is i understood what what made a character good how to use things that made a character good etc etc um I, I bounced around a few teams until like five months in when i decided on kid build or gohan super saiyan goku and i haven't be, i basically haven't changed since um Fast forward a couple of months, went to UFA in France. I had a really shit performance like that tournament because I slept like super late. I slept at like 3 a.m. and pools were at like 10 or something. So I, I had like five hours sleep um, I was, and I was playing Dragon Ball. We had like Angelic there, which was really cool. Had Apology Man and uh, Cloud. Cloud was there as well. He's really cool. All, all really cool guys and uh, it was nice to meet them and like play with the high level high level players and stuff um so yeah and then fast forward again a couple of months went to brussels recently and played abigan sharon shanks bunch of bunch of new guys as well um map with ken deep as well he was there went with c4 jams was there Rives was there reeves was there um and obi went with obi as well um and now i'm at the point where i feel like um i'm fairly good i'm like a pretty solid not like i wouldn't say i'd get top eight even top 16 at like a place where all the i know other tournament players are there but i feel like i could get probably top 32 at most tournaments now um or if not every tournament i feel like i can get top 32 um so the next step is just try and get top 16 at every tournament basically uh, even though I did get top eight at the last tournament, I don't feel like it was there was that much. I didn't have to go through that many people to get there. I think I won four games. And it was like yeah, top top eight, cool. So like, whatever. Um, not downplaying the people I did. Not downplaying the people I did play. Obviously they were really good and stuff. But um, the number of people I played was wasn't that 
you know, it, it was only sixty-two man tournament, but I mean, it's, it's still okay. But I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like get get a big head over that that um, placement. Um, unlike certain men who get big heads over online placements and shit, but you know, we'll, we'll leave them to their devices and whatever they want to do. But um, so yeah, that's basically where I am right now with fighting games. I'm currently playing Mortal Kombat 11. Love it. So much fun. I've always, I wanted to play Mortal Kombat X like a lot, but unfortunately didn't have the funds at the time. But now MK 11's out. You know, I'm playing Scorpion at the moment, so that's that's having a, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, and when Scorpion gets nerfed, you already know I'm jumping out that Sub Zero wave. <laughs> Uh, he's still the main character, so it's all good. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's basically it. That's who I am. That's why I play fighting games because they're fucking they're amazing. The mind games are ridiculous. It's just combos look cool. Or characters that I like. Um, Sub Zero is trash. Just shut up, man. Stop downplaying your character. Sub Zero is good. You call all your characters trash, but you still play them. I don't know what to say. I'm not saying... I'm not trying to say anything, but maybe you're the... Anyway. <coughs> anyway. Me going back to Goku. Enigma going over sub, going Sub-Zero. <laughs> I'm a low-tier warrior. No, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're absolutely not. Super Dash Mind Games, bruh. Okay, actually, we'll talk about that in a second. But let me let me quickly go over Larry's question. Not able to stay for the question, but can you talk about topic of playing multiple fighting games? Okay, um, I generally haven't really played. Like, how can I say this? Like, realistically, the only two fighting games that I'm playing at the that I've ever played at the same time is Dragon Ball and um, Mortal Kombat. Because there aren't really any tournaments for Skullgirls or um, what's it called, Eunice. Well, I guess there are for Eunice, but even at, it's not even at versus fighting, and it's not at like WSO. So like you know, it's whatever. Like I generally, I genuinely only really get involved with stuff when I really love like a, an aspect or a character of it. I do love Skullgirls. Skullgirls, even though I don't play it for very long, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. I'm gonna and I'm gonna try and get like some offline games with someone, maybe like C4, who can like actually sit me down and like teach me about the game like properly for like a good four hours or something and then learn it and then Eunice as well um Akatsuki's look Akatsuki's like probably my favorite character like aesthetic wise so if I was to play it properly again I'll play him um but yeah when it comes to playing two games at the same time you just have to plan it man you just have to plan it out um it it, it, it is obviously not easy but you have to be efficient I think when you're playing one game you can afford to like fuck around a bit lab like ridiculous dumb shit every now and then and then it wouldn't really matter because you've got all the time in the world to just practice that one game but when it comes to playing multiple games you know you just have to use your time effectively and offline offline games is the most important like playing offline character offline sets is probably the most important thing um i think even more so than labbing i think playing offline is way more important than labbing um but then labbing comes next and then follow follow like closely behind that or even on the same level is playing online with a with a frequent training partner one or two training partners because i think you you have to when it comes to when it comes to fighting games and like playing at top level when it, when it comes to performing sorry in tournaments so there's, there's, a, there's a difference right there's a difference between being a good player and being good in tournament i think i think there's quite a big difference um because if you if you're someone who plays like if you play like a specific type of person so if I played RMZ and C4 all the time and that's that's those are the only two people I played I probably wouldn't get to the top 32 at many tournaments I don't think because you for tournaments are first to two and you have to be able to like swash someone in two games and, and like you know just like that like and when it, when it's you know you're playing when you go to tournaments you're playing people who like might play random teams the way they play is ridiculous they, they're just they're just there for fun and you can get tripped up by those kind of players so you i do think to some extent you have to play online like you definitely you definitely have to play online in my opinion unless you're like unless your gameplay allows for you to like not play unless, unless you're unless you're lying arm playing rmz teaches you nothing about tournament you're right playing rmz doesn't teach you anything about tournament but it makes you a better player 
I guess that's kind of, kind of that doesn't make sense, but it does make sense at the same time. Do you get what I'm saying? Playing RMZ will make you understand the game better, and you'll 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 become a better player. But for tournament, tournament and 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 gameplay is is kind of different in that aspect. So that's why that's why I do try and play. Yeah, I know, I know, it's, I know. You know what I mean, um, Siri Dan. But obviously, a lot of, some other people might not know what I mean. But yeah, so it's like it, it's 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 such a weird world, and there's so many sub worlds in it, and I just I just love it. Like the the mind games are my fighting games. So yeah, you have to be able to play in tournament and play like out of tournament as well. Um, but generally, people only really care about tournament now. Like how many how many tournaments do you see? Well, sorry, how many like round robin tournaments do you see? Like. It's, it's, it's always about just the first or two and who is that who adapts in that time normally does like first to ten ten tournaments and stuff like that and normally does money matches in this era anymore so it's kind of like whatever skill and application player arms will get you good it's up to the player if they can apply the skill yeah 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 you're right you're right that does makes more sense playing online is good for 20 pools honestly same skill level yeah, it's, it's 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 hard for a lot of people to adapt to like people who don't think. <laughs> it's, it sounds like mad rude, but it's hard for people to adapt to people who don't uh, who don't care basically, who don't think, who who just like press buttons, um, who have wacky like play styles, like resets and stuff. It's hard to play to that. Um, so you have to you have to like play RMZ. You have to play C four. You have to play like sets where you can play like 10 games, but you also have to play online where you play like first to three and that's it. You play first to two and that's it. You have to do that. And you have to play. I have a lot of people who I play who aren't as good as me, but if I were to play them in tournament and I just like relax and I, cause I, didn't, I didn't know who they were, I would lose to them. So I always play those kind of people just to make sure that you know, I stay on top of things. Um, I can count certain tactics. I can, I can let people hang themselves, letting people... The art of letting people hang themselves is super, super important. The art of letting people hang themselves, it's, it's like, it's one of those things that a lot of people don't actually understand. Because, for example, let's say in Dragon Ball, there are certain patterns that, that, that happens, right? When someone sparks in pressure in the corner, they super dash or they run forward. And if you're out here trying to do, like, super metagame stuff and... You know, get back in, blah blah blah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really like, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get anywhere. But there are a lot of patterns that certain players below a certain level will always do, and you have to be able to react to those patterns. For example, Spark and then Super Dash. As soon as you, they get you off, they get your pressure, like, you know, away. They, sc they Spark on your, on the block string and stuff like that. And you, just, you just have to be able to, just to, to react to that and like be ready for it. Because against someone like. Okay, someone's like a top level player, they're not gonna spark in a, I mean, Americans might, but they usually wouldn't spark in a super dash. They'll like spark, call an assist, dash up, and then tag. Or spark, uh, what's called spark, a beam assist, run up, 5L, IED. But you can't always be thinking the brig brain shit when you're playing in first, like round round three of versus fighting, and you're playing, you're going up against XXX Dark Sasuke 69. Do you know what I mean? So there's a difference between like. Like like C4 said, skill and application. Knowing where to apply it is, is like the big thing. I tried juggling two fighting games, it didn't work for me. Yeah, it depends on the depth of your games and the difficulty and and how what characters you play basically. For example, I play Scorpion in Mortal Kombat, so I don't it's very he's a very basic character, but his his tools are strong. So I could probably play Dragon Ball and, and Mortal Kombat and still place fairly well in both of them, simply because I don't have to think too much about Scorp Scorpion's tools and like practice them. I just have to play solidly, know where I can interrupt and, and that kind of stuff. I can basically, I basically just have to play Mortal Kombat. I don't have to play Scorpion, if that makes sense. Um, Dragon Ball, because I play, my characters are pretty, pretty, what's the word, niche. They have a lot of things that are outside the cast. But even then, Goku is probably like pretty basic. Um, but Kid Buu and Gohan are probably like the more technical characters. But because of Dragon Ball as a whole, even relatively like to other fighting games it's pretty basic like it's not there's not too much like ridiculous stuff i can get away with playing both of them probably but i think if you're playing a game like skull girls and dragon ball and uh what's it called and more combat 
then it's like, yeah, you're, you're kind of fucked. I think Mortal Kombat X was more technical than than Mortal Kombat 11 as well. So that's another factor. Um, so I don't, I don't think I could play Unist, um, Skullgirls, Dragon Ball, and Mortal Kombat all competitively. I don't think I could, I, could, I don't think I could play them in tournament. You got to think as well about in tournament. You're going to be hopping from one game to another, so you're going to expend the energy walking around. You're going to be thinking about other things, like... And I'm not a, like... I'm a student at the moment. If I had, like... If this was my job, and I got paid to play, like, four different games, I'd probably just spend a day on a game each and just, just bang out stuff like that. But because I'm not I'm not getting paid for this, I can't really split up my time because I have other time... Um, I have other time commitments that I have to make, you know? So someone like Kazunoko, who's been playing games for... Not only how many years, but he also gets paid to play games and how often he plays them now. I wouldn't I don't want to say it's easy, but he's used to it. Do you know what I mean? He's used to it. So to him it's easy, but what he's doing isn't easy. You know, you know what I mean? So I do think balancing games is really hard. I think if you want to if you're gonna be honest with you, if you want to be honest with yourself, you have to you have to manage your time and choose which ones are the most like, you know, most realistic. For example, for someone like Sonic Fox, whose parents were so, so supportive of him to, like, play games and stuff, it was easy when he was, like, 15, 16 to, like, you know, just play those games and, and grind and stuff. It was He was he was really lucky, but he's also, like, really skillful, and his uh, his attitude is amazing, his drive is amazing, you know? So, it's people like that are, like, one-in-a-lifetime one, one kind of shit. It's like, you don't, you don't have to be ashamed because you can't play, like, three games to a high level. You can al- you can also always choose to like grind one game at a time, but play four games at a time if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, even Kaz dropped GG and BB tag for a DBFC and Street Fighter. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's hard. Like it's a hard thing to do. Sonic Fox is ridiculous. Kaz is ridiculous. But if they if they want to be number one, you simply can't balance that many games. Like. You know what I mean? It's like uh, what's his name? I don't know if anybody, any of you guys know, but Sonny Bill Williams, he's a Dragon Ball, he's a he's a, he's a Dragon Ball fan. <laughs> he's a he's a sportsman. Um, and he, whenever he would swap from one game to another, when one sport to another, he would like he would just stop playing the other one completely. So he played rugby union, he played uh, play, he did boxing, and he played rugby league. Let me get let me get him up. Oh wait, I think now he's got a degree as well. So yeah, New Zealand boxer, but he's actually a rugby player as well. Yeah, so now he's got a bachelor's degree. You know what I mean? So like, but but it takes you know this stuff takes time commitment. You have to choose like what you want to do. But he's he was a World Cup uh, athlete or player for for New Zealand, um, heavyweight boxer, um, second person to represent New Zealand in rugby union after first playing the country in rugby league. Bill Williams can now add a university degree to his impressive sporting CV. So yeah, like he's he's like one of my idols he's actually an amazing person um amazing sportsman like amazing attitude and one of these people these type of people are the people who like shaped my opinion on things like fighting games in general and also just life so you know yeah, and if, if someone even as amazing as him has to like stop some other sports so he can concentrate on one then it's like you know it's not, not everyone's gonna be able to do things at the same amount of time it's simply even when like I haven't played Joker, I haven't played Dragon Ball in a while and sometimes when I want to do my special I'll do quarter circle forward and then RB and I'm like wait shit it's down back three <laughs> so it's like what fuck so it happens man and not to mention I also play Dragon Ball on analog stick and I play um, Mortal Kombat on D-pad yo photo what's good man Yo, Naheem, what's good? Is there going to be any free Nandos? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm getting Nandos with Moss tonight, though. Oh, yeah, Moss is coming around tonight. Uh, we're playing offline sets. I don't plan to stream it, but if people want me to stream us playing Dragon Ball, I will. Just let me know. I probably wouldn't talk into the mic, though. We'll probably just be playing and stuff. But yeah, if you want to see some high-level sets, I guess, let me know. 
<laughs> living the Fenrir life. Cash drop GG, yeah. You can you can develop mainly in one game and still get mild Zenkai boosts. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Pretty much. Um, I think someone else asked another question. If not, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about balancing fighting games. Oh my god. Yo, hi Rin. Have to go? Okay, cool, no problem. I'll upload the rest of YouTube, I think, so. We don't talk about down back three here. Oh, dear lord. My guy said... <laughs> my guy said... We don't talk about down three, down back three here. <laughs> oh, man. I think we need to 50-50 over neutral. <laughs> I'm gonna stick man you crazy. Couldn't be precise as you. You gotta practice, man. You gotta practice. Cause I actually played Dragon Ball first on an Xbox 360 controller. And I went out, and I went to a fucking I went my first WSO I went to had my controller, but I didn't have a fucking I can't remember what it's called, the legacy like converter or something like that. And I had to borrow someone's PS4 pad and I was like, fuck. And RMZ, man, like, big brother RMZ fucking, he b came through for me, gave me a pad, and I didn't pay him for, like, a month, and I paid him back later, so I, 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 I owe a lot to RMZ for helping me in the scene. See you later. Yeah, I play, I play, I play analog. How do I play? I mean, I just play, what do you mean? <laughs> I just play. Um, anyway... <laughs> I play on fat stick. <laughs> Does it make still live in bar? <laughs> Yo, I'm back in the chat and these men are, are doing jokes, bro. Alright, cool. No one cares because it's not hitbox. His thumb is actually double jointed. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Let's talk about let's talk about balance, nerfing, and influence in the FGC. Um. I've had a couple run-ins recently with a few people about balance. Um. First of all, I think let's let's talk about more combat. I guess me and me and I don't know if you if you guys seen me and Alun had a bit of a bit of an alter, not altercation, but a bit of an argument about characters in the FGC, uh, characters in Mortal Kombat. Um, and like Mortal Kombat is huh, let's let's see let's let's have a look here. So ninth of no no, hang on. So it was released on the twenty third of April, and it's now almost a month later. It's, it's almost one month. One month. Scorpion is broken. Op is teleport is unfair. If anyone thinks otherwise, I will break their stick. <laughs> oh man. So then the game has been two weeks old and and people like Ali Oesun are complaining about a mechanic about a, a, a special coming out, a special meter burn coming out on block. I mean, it's easily punishable and calling, like, he didn't, he didn't call for nerfs, but a lot of people are calling for nerfs for Scorpion. And it's like, when you look at what the character has, he's very, he's very basic. He's very surface level. Like, he doesn't have many mind games. The only thing he really has is, is he going to teleport or not? And it's like, dude, Everyone's like, oh, we, we can't do anything. Like, we can't do anything against this guy. Like, he's always on our ass. Like, what can we do? I, I just, I throw a projectile and he just reacts and I can't do anything. How about not throwing the projectile? Like, people are just so, they're so used to doing certain things that when, when something, when one thing stops them from doing something, they're like, oh, this is broken. <laughs> 
It's ridiculous. He was complaining about no. He was he he was complaining about the teleport meter burn. He said it's he said it's kind, I find it wild that they they let um they let what's his name they let Scorpion meter burn his teleport on block and it's like dude just sh just play the game man just play the game you clearly haven't even like labbed the game stick because if you, if you if you did for a second you'd be like oh this is mad this is mad punishable never mind. I'm gonna stop talking but no the guy just tweets like whatever it's like man you have an influence like use it properly don't don't just say stuff because people will take your real word for it it's really I think it's really really bad the state of influence and content creation in, in FGC like it's really really bad Nakiel's Nakiel I think Nakiel's really good at it because he's like he would tell people like stop overreacting just like take a sec, blah blah blah. The kill sage is also good at it, but he also doesn't give a fuck. So he's like, if people want to react, they can. Which I don't, I don't, I don't blame him. He's although he does have that platform, it's not up to him to make people think for themselves. But Nakiel kind of does take it upon himself, and he does like say go out of his way to say stuff every now and then. So like, you know, he he he's a cool guy. Um. But Alun, I feel like a lot of the time he's just saying stuff just to like. <laughs> Here's another thing, right? So like, Ali, me and Alun was talking about Blue uh, Go Gohan and Freezer when when when, <laughs> when Alun thought he was gonna play Gohan, which he would never do. Like, it's never gonna happen. He thought he was gonna play Adult Gohan, and I was like, this is cap. This is not gonna happen. And then he was like, oh yeah, Broly Gohan Freezer, and I'm like, dude, if you are gonna play Gohan, which you're not, but if you are. Don't play Frieza. It's it's actual garbage. And then o Preets was there as well. O Preets was trying to like O Preets and and, and uh, what's his name? And O Preets and Alun were trying to tell me, oh yeah, Frieza gives Gohan everything he wants. I'm like, he absolutely does not. You guys are capping. You are doing. You are chatting the most gas right now. And he's like, okay, cool. And he started having a full blown conversation with me about why they think it's good. Blah blah blah. I'm like, and they weren't. They were, sorry, they weren't. They weren't having a conversation with me. They were telling me why it is good, and I was like, okay, cool, okay, <laughs> whatever. I guess. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys talk, whatever. And then they go and ask Tashikawa the same thing, and he says the exact same thing, and I do. But he doesn't, he doesn't try and prove him wrong. He doesn't try and tell him, oh no, this is what he has. This is what he has. And then and they just leave it. It's like, oh okay, and they just they just accept it. And it's like the clout and influence. That the like players in the FTC have is so like amazing, and it just goes to show that people like people like this don't they don't care about reasoning. Now, in my opinion, he doesn't, he doesn't care about reasoning. He just cares about what he thinks is right and and what he finds. Like if you're a nobody, your opinion isn't valid. But I'm saying the same thing as Tachikawa, and he wants to listen. He wants to accept what he says at surface level. But it's whatever, I guess. Three button and instant in. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of like my rant about clout and FTC influence and stuff, and people using it incorrectly, like calling for nerfs. Like, it's obviously clear that Garrus is strong, but even now, you're seeing Sonic Fox and stuff post tech about how his stuff is on. You know, he, his his strings. You can you can duck them, stuff like that. And it's like, yo, just let a game play out for more than a month before you call for nerfs. Like, Summit hasn't even happened yet. The game was two weeks old. People out here calling for nerfs. People out here calling Scor uh, Scorpion and Sub Zero busted. Sub Zero is 50 50. You can, you can, uh, you can, what's it called? It? Uh, you can, fo not Fuzzy Block. You can switch block it. Um, you can OS it on, on defense. Um, can't believe people. <laughs> Fuck off, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like people are so quick to complain rather than think about what they can do about stuff. And that's what I hate about this era's FGC and its influences. That's what I hate about it. I refresh my Twitter all day waiting for the latest Scorp tweet. <laughs> Yo, Aegis, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the podcast. So yeah, I'm like, 
Why? Why is this? Ah, <laughs> Darky, stop. Nah, Kid Boo's still top tier, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I still want some of his tools back, though. I want two. The only thing I want back from Kid Boo is 2 1 4 L, the light command grab. I don't want it to give sliding knockdown. I want to be able to combo after it. Yo, my voice, man. Holy shit. Doing this is gonna is gonna help me practice my voice because my voice is like almost already breaking. My, my throat fucking hurts. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get some water actually in a sec. But yeah, that's buff twenty boo, but buff twenty one more. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how I feel about uh, Dragon Ball. Um, oh, it's not Dragon Ball. Uh, FGC influencer stuff. I just don't like how a lot. And then he blocked me, by the way. Like, I didn't even insult him, but he, he blocked me. Whatever, though. It's cool. Um, yeah, there's that. Um, more Combat, I think, is an amazing game. It's really fun. I just hope that the devs go don't go crazy and, you know, start buffing and nerfing everything. I think, I think I'd think definitely rather people get buffed than people get nerfed. So, I'm just hoping that's how it goes. I'm going to look into Sub-Zero next, though. I think Sub-Zero Thin Ice is going to end up being better than Dead of Winter. I'm calling it now. I think Thin Ice's slide is so strong. Can we speak about Rufa Mongoloid? I guess this is another thing, right? Oh dear, I wish Maximilian Dude was still making Dragon Ball videos. Cause he is the he is the only shining beacon right now in terms of uh like fighting game influences, I feel like. He's the most straightforward, honest, not downplaying, um, and like straight to the real to the core uh content creator right now. But his his Lord Knight nah he caps. <laughs> Lord Knight caps. But he, Lord Knight is definitely capping. Lord Knight doesn't think Super Saiyan Goku's 2M is good. He thinks it's average. Like, he's definitely capping. But he's also, like, on that level, I think. But his his influence isn't as high as Maximilian dudes is. Because he's, he's not as easy to watch. He's not as animated. He's not as, he doesn't have as many followers. His his content isn't, his the, the sorry, hang on. The production of his of his content isn't as good as maximilian dudes but the quality is the same but pr production matters like production really really fucking matters and i just don't have i don't have the time money or effort to go to like go through all that because I, I just want to play i just want to become a good player right now so i would do it but like i'd rather just be a good player not really no but really speaking to your point Given given environment meta game like a solid month. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like give a month or a major, yeah. Make Frost human again. <laughs> but you're a really good player. I'm okay, but I want to like become a great player. I want to. I want to. I want to. You know, I want to be. So I I, I want to be a name, but not because I want to be a name. Because I want to be. I want to be the level. My game. I want my level of gameplay to be at the at the at the point where I'm a name. Not because I want to be known or I want followers or some shit. I just want to be like, this is how good I am. Now let's let's now let's move to the next step, next next stage. You know, I just want to keep getting better, 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 better. You know, I want to compete. I want. I just want to win. Like that's all. I just I just want to win. I just want to learn and win. <laughs> Can you play Jamie? I want to be. Why don't you talk about this, please? <laughs> all right. I'm fucking dead. Toka, Toka, Shikaru. Well, this one. I'm dead. I've never heard of this before. Let me. I want to listen to this as well. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Just know when you see me, you're looking at. You could have ten master balls, you still can't match. You don't care about legendary birds, you can't attack. Ash catch him, catches them all, but I only catch. Yo, man, try to ask me why Charizard. Man, think that I'm gonna shop my cars like I need peas. 
Man's gonna see them frames on the wall when I get my yard. Smile on my face just like Dengar. Think I'm new to this? Nah, nah. Turn the clocks back for wood green tops. See me trading a shirt, nah, nah. I put the work in, that's why I am. <laughs> I'm that lick cable, bro. You can't twang. <laughs> there ain't no fate in round here, fam. My gang's. I will trade for your HP, that's why they call man. The very best. <laughs> Yo, talking like say you're gonna sky me when I draw for the ball. You be like, why me? Trust me, cuz. One by one, I'll make all six of them white. Man's got Japanese and Chinese. Don't try to tell me about Chinese. Been there, done that. Bought a t shirt, wore it with shorts and Chinese. You weren't around back then, or you would have seen. No rare candy needed for me to achieve. If you're talking the first 151, then call me. Yo, no bends or scratches on a top. And make sure none of them corners flop. <laughs> Jamie's the fucking best, bro. Jamie is the fucking best. Jamie is the best, bro. Wheel it. Oh, shit. Nah, bro. The flow, the switch up. This is gas. Oh. Nah. Nah, Jamie, stop it. Jamie, stop it, man. Yo. Nah, that was gas. That was fucking gas. Oh, snap. Yeah, nah, that was sick. Nah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, bro. Yeah, that song was gassed. I appreciate it, <laughs> bro. This is the song. This is my. This is my new tournament song. You know that. I used to play this when I got grand finals in GGXRD. Real talk, <laughs> bro. I'm gonna start playing this in every game, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna start playing this every game. Every time I play Dragon Ball, bro. This is gassed. This is fucking gassed. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, that shit slaps. Oh shit, bro, that shit, that shit slaps. Wow. But yeah, so like, at the moment, I want to focus on like becoming a better player. So I will do content on the side like this, but my main, you know, my main goal is just become better. But yeah. Um, but yeah, for <laughs> Rufa Munga, uh, I just think he lies, he doesn't, he doesn't test the stuff that he like, you know, doesn't test the stuff he talks about, doesn't really know the stuff he's talking about, and he just kind of follows the crowd, but he makes it seem like he's making his own opinions. Um, I'm glad I don't see him, like, I don't see him on my Twitter feed anymore, I don't watch his videos anymore. I think there is some stuff to gain from his videos, but... You have to be careful. You have to be careful. You don't. You don't go too deep and, you know, take too much from it, and like take it as gospel. I think he. When 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 you get a lot of people, when you get a big following, I think it's easy to get lost in your own source or whatever source he thinks he has. 
you know? So, whatever though. Sometimes it do be like that. Toka, toka, chikan wo tomete. Toka geo mono kure, kisan da kure. Moshi mo, moshi mo, yuru sare ru nara. Subete o kisei, kite mo i, ano e gao, mo ichi do. Yeah. True underdog, true underdog gaming. <coughs> Isn't he the guy that did unblock stuff? He makes good tier lists though. His content is extremely informative. You talking about Rufamonger? Because you're definitely trolling. Hey, this song's pretty sick. His TOD vids legitimately killed me in one touch. <laughs> it is what it is, man. He obviously has an audience, but... You know. Good tier list. There's no such thing as a good tier list. I think tier lists should be made by the number of bad matchups you have. In, in, in Mortal Kombat, anyway. Rather than just what tools you have. Because realistically, if you don't lose to any character, shouldn't you then be number one? But again, that would, that would, make, that would make Scorpion number one. That one time Hook and God made a tutorial with Roof of the Bonga layout. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. That was actually fucking hilarious. Imagine trying to make a tier list based on matchups in Dragon Ball Fighters. Bruh. There's no such thing as a tier list in Dragon Ball, man. Like, <laughs> you can literally fucking, since you fucking pick and mix, like make your own good team. Ah, that was six shot gaming. Yeah, you're right. It was six shot gaming. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <coughs> Three S is basically based on matchups. Yeah. I never played. I never played Third Strike, so. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. But I think tier lists. Actually, let me let me. Should we watch what um? Let me show you guys what maximum. Is. somebody that knows what they're doing with the character on the bottom every fucking time you will you're gonna lose here's what you can get from a tier list characters that are towards the top are gonna be a bit easier to play shit's just gonna be a bit easier to do characters that are on the bottom end of the tier list might not do things as effectively as the characters at the top that's all you're gonna get out of it does it mean that you're gonna still be beaten by uh with using a good character by somebody that knows what they're doing with the character on the bottom every fucking time you will you're gonna lose to that character every time Basically that. Like I happened to pick the right person, that right place in the in the in the video, but it's basically like just play whoever the fuck you want. Dragon Ball is not so skewed that you can't play fucking. You can probably even play Krillin and still beat the the people you play against. I still I if you if you have the right team, I still think you can play characters like Krillin and just because. <clears throat> people will be like oh, okay his assist is trash okay cool his assist is trash if uh, if that's what you think let's let's say his assist is, is whack right basically yeah foxy did that and he bodied how many fucking people by the way by the way Fo uh Krillin isn't trash but let's just let's go let's go on the, on the assumption that he is he's got like he's got a lot of stuff that a lot of characters don't have so he forces people to play differently slightly differently like this is what a lot of people don't, don't realize. You need to uh, play and abuse the stuff that makes them good or makes them unique or makes people have to play a slightly different way. Do you know what I mean? So it's like... <coughs> so it's like, um... <laughs> fuck off, Jester. <laughs> it, 
it's so true. You can really make anyone make anyone work. Tillis don't matter. Who are you currently playing in MK, by the way, in here? <laughs> You're such a troll, bro. <laughs> You're such a troll. I play Beerus. Bro, play Beerus. I do think some characters are incomplete, but you can still play them and like play play pretty well. Like because it's a it's a three character game. It's a three character game. So it's like you can play you can play Cell, you can play Krillin, and you can play Super Saiyan Goku. Or you can play like Krillin, Kid Buu, Goku. And that's still a like it's still a good team. And if, if, to be honest, that makes us kinda of broken with Krillin and, and Kid Buu assist. But like he get he he gets good damage. It's, it's like his limbs are small, but he's also small to hit. No one was complaining about uh, Gotenks having small limbs. Krillin's 5M is broken. Like, it's actually broken. But no one gives a fuck. Like, you can't, like no one beats him after 6M. He can 5M you and he'll beat your, your 5L. Because his 5M, he pulls back a bit before he goes forward. So he always makes your 5L whiff. It's, it's broken. Other than Vegito. Vegito is the only one who could five L him, but then obviously Krillin can just five L against Vegito, so it doesn't like you know what I mean. He play he make he he can make everyone play differently. He can hold his beam, he can jump with his beam. It's whatever, man. People just be moaning about shit. He's a good character, um, but even then, it's a three man team, so you can play you can play like Krillin and then another good shell like Kid Buu Goku. Um, who else? Kid Buu Cell. Uh, Cell Goku, Bardock Goku, uh, Go Go uh, Bardock Vegeta, Cell Vegeta, um, you know, Cooler Goku, Vegeta, Cooler Vegeta, uh, Broly Vegeta. Like you can play a lot of stuff, and he can heal his assists. Yeah, exactly. Like he can, he can he can heal his assists. Like he has a lot of things that a lot of other characters cannot do. His 5H is similar as well. Yeah, yeah, his 5H is... Just 5H is godlike. 5H is pretty strong. Like, he... His combos are... His corner combos are really damaging as well. Like, you know, it's not... It's not It's not as... People just don't want to play slightly differently. That's all. But if, if, they, if they just tried, you know... And it's kind of tough, because the people who liked him, the people who, like, genuinely liked him, weren't all that into the game. So, like... Or oh, well, rather, so there's two. Let's, the the two most prominent Krillin players I know, were Foxy, didn't really like it anyway. And now that MK has come out, he's obviously putting his all into that. Fair enough, cool. The other person I know who played him was uh, Hex Pro, and he's more of a lab monster than he is like a player, in my opinion. Um, I haven't really seen that many like I haven't seen him at any tournaments. I haven't heard of him going to any tournaments. Um, he seems a bit of, like of an online player, more 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 so than not. Um, and I've probably seen more more clips of him posting tech than I have seen of him playing the game. So I feel like Krillin isn't very isn't really represented very well by any by any characters. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like this this plays again into like the tier list talk and stuff like that, and it's like just no one really wants to understand it. No one like okay, there's another point in this where Massimilian talks about it. You're gonna come across. Use a tier list for information, but the the thing is, people don't use tier list. Right, here's and they've it. had to here's deal it. with listen, shit. Listen to this. Listen to this. Yeah, yeah. At that point, you're gonna lose every single fucking time. I mean, you can use a tier list for information, but the the thing is, people don't use tier lists for information. People use tier lists to just immediately evaluate this character beats that character. You're done. That's this character's mid tier, and this character's better. Oh the mid-tier character is going to lose. You know that's absolutely how people use tier list information. Like, literally, that's 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 all you see. The tier lists are so fucking bland. They're so pointless. They don't show anything, especially in a team game like Dragon Ball. They don't show anything. I, I, I can't, I, I can't, ex I can't express it enough. People use tier list to soften the blow from the L from dropping into the laps. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. <clears throat> basically that. It's like, bruh. If you don't want to lose, play the characters. If if your goal is to, is to not lose, it's to win. 
play the characters that you say are are, are unbeatable. And then, and then and then and then to that they'll say, oh, but you know, I, I play the characters I like because I just want to have fun. Okay, cool. If you just want to have fun, and your goal is yo, Vasi, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate, it, man. Um, but if your goal is to have fun and not to like win whatever, why does it matter that m- these characters are unbeatable? Why are you even mentioning it? Clearly, you want to win slightly. So if you want to win, pick the good characters. Oh, but you only play characters you care about and want to have fun with. So it doesn't matter if you lost or not, if they're top tier. You know what I'm saying? It's just an endless loop. Like, I won't, I'm never going to lose to someone and be like, oh, yeah, just, you know. Unless it was like, unless it's like last touch of the game and like I make a right read and then, you know, fucking Bardock just 5 LLs me. You know what I mean? Like, like kind of dumb stuff like that. Like auto combo side swap stuff like that universal like you know what I'm saying universal mechanics where it's like oh the auto combo um what's it what's the word the auto combo auto uh, what's it called auto corrected and like tracked me like team gohan auto combo stuff like that where it's like okay this is clearly stupid like this is this clearly shouldn't be in the game but it's not because team gohan's top tier it's just because that that specific mechanic at that specific point in the in time in that game lost me the set I'll be like damn I lost that bullshit. But even then, it's not going to catch me throughout the whole game. Like, I wouldn't let it. I legit, I legit wouldn't let it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, bruh. It's not the character. Most of the time, it's the player. Like, I would say 99.999% of the time, it's the player. You know? My favorite are the people who blatantly picked low tier so they have the excuse. You mean Sirudan? <laughs> Sirudan says his, his his characters are low tier, so he doesn't like look bad when he loses. But he doesn't look bad when he loses anyway. If anything, he looks bad when he says, "Oh yeah, my character's low tier." He's a great player as well. He's a great fight game player, which is like the really weird and annoying thing for me. He's really good. When he calls his characters low tier. I don't know if it's like I don't know if he's memeing as well. I hope he is. But sometimes it feels like he's being serious. By the way, don't forget guys, if you're new to the stream, drop it a follow. I'm gonna start doing uh comic cast, you know, quite quite hopefully quite regularly. Uh maybe like once a week or once every two weeks or something. Um We'll probably be wrapping up in like half an hour and I'll start streaming streaming Dragon Ball. Or oh, sorry, yeah, I'll start playing Dragon Ball in like half an hour. I'm not sure. I think he isn't memeing. Yeah. I I don't think he is. Like, I don't know. Because he, he says, like, ah, oh, Blue G is a bad character now. And I'm like, how? <laughs> I think Blue G is a great character. I think, he, I think he has the condition. But so does Kid Boot. When he talks about, when he talk about, when he talk about uh, mix-ups. If we're talking about mix-ups, Kid Boot definitely has the condition. There's a lot of stuff you don't have to take from Kid Buu, but people don't lab stuff, so they don't know. But I'm just, I'm still running over people with Kid Buu because like people don't lab, hence why people care. People who people who lab don't care about tier lists. People who don't lab care about tier lists. It's that simple. Because people who people who don't care about tier lists will will see a tier list, go into the lab, see why that character is good, and then see what they can do about it. They won't just accept it and be like, oh. This character's good. If I lose to it, psh, not my fault. Nothing I could have done. Do you know what I mean? Blue G is the best Vegeta? Yeah. Easily, man. In my opinion. All right, definitely on point. Definitely the best Vegeta on point. I still think Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta assist is ridiculous. Like, it's super, super good. But Blue Vegeta is, he has, he's, he's sick, man. He's really fucking sick. Just do what I did and copy your favorite player team. If, bro, if that works for you, I respect Naheem more than I respect a lot of other people. Because he, he knows he's, he, not even he knows, he says he, he, he copied the team because he liked it. He liked the gameplay. Um, he, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, you know, he doesn't bitch talk. He just plays the game. Probably one of the most respectable, respectable people I know, like online and stuff, when it comes to like fighting game related stuff. He just plays the game. 
Yeah, Vegeta Blue is mad fun, man. Wreckers, Wreckers is like something I really enjoy. It's, and like uh, Kick Wreckers as well. Super, super fun. Super fucking fun. If you're copying someone's team, make sure to try and understand what they're looking at when they play it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naheem knows. Naheem knows. But again, Naheem's, Naheem, Naheem's pretty young, so he's just like he's just playing for fun, and he accepts that. Like he knows that. He's not trying to be something he's not. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like people just downplay for like I don't know for their ego and stuff. I'm like, bro, stop caring about ego, man. Stop caring about it. <clears throat> a couple egotistic guys in the, in the MK chat, but I think it's more just because of their background and where they come from, and like rather than like a place of actually wanting to intimidate people. So I think it's I think the MK guys are really cool. Right, I've been, I've been I'm in their WhatsApp chat now, just seeing some stuff. Actually, something else we should talk about: 50-50s and mix-ups. Oh, downplaying the strongest OS. I should know. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> Um, seven, uh, 50 50s mix ups in, in fighting games. Man, oh man, oh man. Man, oh man. So, Man Like C4 was talking to me. Was it C4? Or was it someone else? I can't actually remember. Um, can't remember who it was. But someone must have hit me up about. Um, wait, what's that? Uh, yeah, so someone was telling me about 50-50s. Me, you, and Justin's either. No, 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 it was about 50-50s. I think I was talking to uh, Elmo. Um, I heard people complaining about how 50-50s shouldn't exist in in MK or in fighting games in general. And it's like, let me, sh let me show you why I think they're fine and when I think they're fine. This is when I think they're fine. Uh, MK, Tom, Brady. Videos. This is another good one. Uh, actually, this one's five minutes. So, okay, hey, 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 this is, this is a good one. No one, and apply that. What's going on, guys? MK Tom Brady here, and in this video, we're gonna apply fighting games. Ah, uh, actually, it's a bit long. Okay, basically, the point is of the, of the video is that Sub Zero is fifty fifty. Is is not is not actually a true fifty fifty. You can actually switch block it. Um, the low comes out high quicker than the high, and to be honest, the low and the high, the high, um, no, not not high, sorry, the overhead, the low comes out quicker than the overhead, and the um, what's it called? The, uh, the I think the animation for the the overhead is actually kind of reactable. It's nineteen frames, and he like pulls his hands back. The um, it's not like it's not like Broly five H and 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 command grab. Cause if you look, if you look here, let me show, when he does it, let me see. The person doing the mix-up, it's how much damage the opponent loses. There's that. Right, so that's the that's the overhead right there, right? So I'll show you guys again. That's the and overhead. Same scenario. There's that. That's the overhead right there, right? I think if I think there's so an in this situation here. So is he doing that? I think he does a low this time. Forward to to the ice. So, we saw how much damage he gets if he lands the combo. Uses the. Uh, where is it? Come on. Did this for, and you're gonna. You can do full. You break out. Ah, this is annoying. Was it? And he throws you. Okay, so throw. Hit. <laughs> He's not doing it. How much damage? But basically, he basically he kicks the line. ground. He kicks and the like kicks your shin, right? This right here is four. He got oh, he got a freeze. He beats out a projectile. However, he does it. Reset you with the overhead. You can't break out of this one. Control. And you get reset. People. Oh, this is annoying. I want to see the fucking text. low. Why is he not doing the low? Find me. Or on the line. You overhead me. I'll take it all. Games. Years of information. So now he's just talking. The reason for not making the here and hit you for a mix up. You get your neutral up. That's not. Um, fast. Uh, where is and it? And you get reset. Damn and it, please. Reset you with the over. Alright, whatever. The point is he kicks a low he kicks ground really low, right? Kicks your shin. And then he does and you I show you the other one with the overhead, right? So the animations aren't similar at all. But 
and they, they don't even hit on the same frame. They don't even hit one frame with each other. I think it's four frames, maybe four or five. Um, so it's like it's it's, it's switch blockable. Um, and if he delays it to try and make it like non fuzzyable or non switchable, sorry, you um you can interrupt it. So it's like uh or you can you can walk back. I think. So it's like, man, is it really that good? I mean, it's decent. It's very good. It's good for mind games. But it's not. It's not actually even a real, real fifty-fifty because you can you can OS it. You can do something about it. Fifty-fifties are meant to be on. Like you can't OS them. It's literally a guess. So it's like <sighs> people are saying this stuff couldn't shouldn't exist. Um, <clears throat> and the reason I think it should is because I think the um, the option. The option for the attacker that gives like that gives like a good reward should also have a drawback. Do you know what I mean? It should have a, it should have a, it should have a good good drawback and a big drawback. Sorry, and yeah, with this no one. Risk. There's no mind game. Yeah, like it says, there, there's, there's no risk. There's no mind game. Or two. <coughs> this is what I mean. So the, his his overhead into EX Ice Ball is super minus, super punishable, full combo punishable of like your optimal punish. So it's like cool. Yeah, he that's 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 cool. That's fine. <coughs> but his his low one is a hit confirmable string into the reset. So it's like you know you, you want to take you want to block the low one because he doesn't use any resources. He just carries on his offense, and there's no real risk. It's safe on block. The string is safe on block, and he can hit confirm it. So that's the one you don't want to take. If you you what you want to do is you want to make him risk the overhead into the ice ball, and then you know if he if he if he hits you, whatever, cool. He uses a bar and he gets a reset, and he can only do that twice. If he wants to do that option, he can only do that twice. So he can't loop it. This is this is the thing people aren't realizing. He can he can fifty fifty you twice, and then that's it. I don't, I don't. I don't even think he can kill off of one fifty fifty, off of the fifty fifty twice. So he's gonna have to at some point go for the low. So if you're always blocking the low, and then he does overhead, like however many times, he's only gonna be able to do it so many times in in a in a sequence. So you you have to you have to use this. You have to you have to you have to think about it. You have to think if he and then if he yo see you later, him. So if he does it twice. And then he can't do it anymore. Then obviously he's not gonna go for like the un. Oh, I mean he might, but he's probably not gonna go for an unsafe version. So you know you wanna you wanna get like you wanna take you wanna turn your defense into offense into into an attacking mind game. That's what you wanna do. But back three one. I think it's back three two. The low mid string has really good frames on block. Yeah, exactly. It's it's super strong. And then he can even finish the string into a back three two back three two one, which is like a knockdown. It's like you know you don't it's not you know it's not it's not broken. And even Sonya's even Sonya's um fifty fifty, if you look here, you can actually I don't know if you guys know I don't think anyone watched it because no one fucking really reacted. But if you look you can actually uh you can duck Mixed her rings. Brown uh, since the day of her lower option, she doesn't get a combo. She yeah, see she doesn't get a combo, she gets twenty percent. Okay, cool. Crazy. She gets twenty percent and she has to I think she has crush and blow as well, so that's probably like thirty five percent or whatever. So that, that's that's once a game. Um off the low option she gets thirty percent. She has twenty percent. Um and then uh what's it called? And if she tries to like hit confirm going Oh uh, where is it? Come on, come on man, please. This is this is the ring cancel one. Punish? No fifth. And again. Right. Situation. I am Ah, oh, so annoying. Just show me the fucking thing, man. Please. Just do it. This concept is. She does the ring toss with no amp. She's reading. I'm going to neutral duck. You know, after the low, she'll just throw out the spec. She can't like not. Oh, is this it? Mix up. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. So he ducked and then he punished. So it's like, there's a big risk for her. 
there's ways around stuff and yeah it's it's hard it's it's complicated it's a lot of mind games but that's what fighting games are that's the reason people play fighting games because they're hard because it's it's it feels awesome to pull off these you know these 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 big reads get your reward from it and then finish the combo that's that's why people play fighting games and the new era that i unfortunately joined at the same time but i have a completely different mindset to for some reason i don't know and even some of the people from the old days like the people who there who were here before me who played nk before me everyone's just complaining it's month one month one they're not complaining about glitches or clear bugs they're complaining about mix-ups that they haven't practiced or even labbed against it's amazing to me it's ridiculous it's amazing it's why you can see some people getting away with running stuff like Beerus Blue Jeter. Yeah, exactly. Because they know the ins and outs. They know what can do. They can do. They know. They, they know what they can't do. And because they play against your fucking bread and butter, like chocolate spread, basic bitch, Bardock Goku, all the fucking time, they know what you can do, but you don't know what they can do. Like, just play whichever fucking character you want. Learn the game. Learn the character. Learn the matchups. And then if there's something you really can't deal with just because it's like un it's unbearable, then fucking maybe pick up a second character. No trolls. Bro, some people just don't like training mode. It's that simple. You're right. You're actually right. Some people just don't like playing. The people who don't like team mode are the people who, who have an ego. Because they're like, why am I doing training mode? I don't need to train. I just need to play. I just want to I just want to beat people. I just want to beat people. I don't want to be good. I don't want to understand the game. I don't want to enjoy the mind games. I just want to beat people. I only play top tiers. Bro, I respect it. If you only play top tiers, do your thing, innit? <coughs> Bro, do your thing. Do your thing. Man like Sanford, Sanford Kelly. Just relaxing, doing combos and setups in training mode. Yeah, man. Some people like that. Some people don't like can't literally can't train. It's it's mal it's wild. The problem is once you know the answer and you got the question wrong, it feels bad. When you don't know the answer, ignorance is bliss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, wait. Once you know the answer, you got the question. Wait, what do you mean? Oh right, right, right. When you basically, when, when, basically, when you know, like, oh, I can duck here to to block this to avoid this mix up. Um, but then they don't, they don't, they they do the other mix up and they do a different question. But your answer is wrong for that question. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I agree, I agree. But when you when you don't know the answer, it's like, oh, you know, psh, nothing I could do there. So they're like, fuck it. They they don't they don't feel the blame, I guess, or the guilt. And it's like, man, grow up. Just go team mode. Like. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my view is just weird or something. But. Oh, who knows? Taking responsibility for being shit is long. Why not? Basically, why not? Pretty much that, man. Oh well, though. It, it it it's never really gonna stop unless we have like unless we get to a point where all the fighting game influencers, all the top players, are like pushing this like mentality forward and being like, "Yo, listen, like you know, lab, focus on things, you know, focus on improvement, focus on blah blah blah." It's never gonna change. Like you see people complaining about Scorpion all the time, and it's like, what? <laughs> they're not even complaining about the tool they're just complaining about how they can't deal with it that's literally it it's, it's amazing I only blame two things in fighting games myself and the netcode that's absolutely the right mentality because netcode can actually sometimes just fuck you up but like that's why I can't like I love like wait let me <laughs> love is a strong word but like, I enjoy I enjoy Shiridan's streams and I enjoy like, watching the guy play and I enjoy playing against the guy He's a great guy, great player, but I just can't, I can't, it's amazing, because it's like, 
Serena will be like, oh, why why is this guy D wanting? Why is this guy down wanting? Why is this guy mashing? Why is this guy doing that? And I'm like, why aren't you doing anything about it? And he's like, oh, oh, look, it's easy. I can I can just do this and then and then and then uh and then beat him. And it's like, okay, then do it. And he's like, oh yeah, but it's boring. And it's like, okay, well then don't play or something. It's like people just love to complain. And he's, and then I talk to him and he's like, oh, any, I know like I know what I'm doing. I know blah blah blah. But I'm just I'm just I'm just doing it. And people, and this is what I've said before. I, People talk and complain for the sake of talking and complaining. Not because they want something to be done about it. Just because they, they don't, they, it doesn't feel nice. Literally, that's it. Like, when, I, when, when you see me, when you see me stream and someone will mash on my setup, I'm like, oh, he mashed. Next time, I'm going to make sure he doesn't. I'm not like, I'm not like, why, he's, why is he mashing? Unless, unless he's like, Unless I'm genuinely asking the person, like I'm playing next, and I'm like, "Oh, why did you do that there?" And then they explain it to me. But I'm, I'm not. Just, I'm never just like, "Oh, why would he do that?" Like this guy's whack. Like, "Oh, this makes me so. There's no sense. Whatever. This is boring." Whenever it gets to that point on my stream, and I'm like, "Oh, this guy doesn't really know how to play. He's just like not doing stuff." I either deal with it, or I just, or I, I mean, I always deal with it, and then I just leave because I'm like, I'm not learning anything anymore. I, not sorry. It's not just about me not learning anything. It's when I see that they're not learning anything either. It's like if I punish a guy for like reflect five times in a row, then he reflects for the sixth time. I just stop playing him because I'm like I'm not learning anything. You're not learning anything. This is pointless. I either want to be teaching someone or being taught when I'm playing when I'm playing fight games or or winning in a tournament. Like the only the only time I care about winning is when I'm in a tournament. Other than that, or first of ten like a uh, money match or whatever. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. It's about learning. It's about learning so that I can win in a tournament. Or learning so that I can teach someone else who can then in turn teach me to get better so then I can win the tournament. That's the only thing I care about. So like when I see people talking about, oh, like streamers, not just Syria, because I see a lot of high level streamers do it as well. The Kill Sage doesn't do it. Um, Japanese players don't do it. But a lot of other Americans, like, uh, what's his name? Alucard, I can't watch Alucard's streams for more than ten minutes. He's a great guy. I love, I love him as a person, as a fighting game player, as like, as an, as a, as a personality. He's an absolutely amazing guy. But I can't watch his streams for more than twenty minutes because he just complains about net play all the time and like people, people mashing at NLBC and uh, not NLBC, uh, HOC and stuff. And it's like I love, I love this guy. I love the way he plays. I love the characters he plays. I love how he plays them. He's a great guy. He's a great player. It's just the constant complaining about what the other person who's also trying to win is doing. It's like, it's not complaining about it. Just deal with it. You, If you if he's that predictable and you know what he's going to do, then fucking deal with it. Stop complaining about it. It's so hard for me to listen to people like that. I don't know. I, I just find it so irritating. And I'm not, I'm not saying they need to change their ways because obviously... <laughs> he's a great player and he's going to keep getting better. <clears throat> but I just think if generally people cut down, like even obviously there's sometimes when you get tilted, like, oh, what the fuck? Why did that happen? Cool, whatever. But I think if people cut down on that sort of mentality and, and, and try and adopt a way of, you know, adopt a mindset of dealing with things before complaining about them or thinking about them, then players like that would get a lot better and the scene as a whole would be better. Because um, I think... I think uh, Cloud kind of does it as well at some point, sometimes. Cloud kind of does that as well. Yo, I'm getting it. I'm going to put a shot on one second. Cloud kind of does it as well, but he'll, like, deal with it, and then he'll be like, yeah, whatever. But I feel like Alucard gets into his feelings about it a bit too much. And it's, I think it's holding him back because I would love to see him play Frieza on like a top eight stage because I think he's capable. I just think he cares too much about other players. Yo, see you later. I need to get some CF. All right, man. See you later. Uh, wait, let me read the chat. Um, I like playing fighting games because I only play some stuff I can blame myself. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why I stopped playing Overwatch. Fucking trash game. I'm probably going to download it again for the summer though so to stream for you guys. I definitely think a lot more positive than I used to be. Take melee culture. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's definitely better. Like, people still meme about top tiers, but 
if I ever see anyone like complaining or like shitting on someone for playing Bardock or Cell or, or Kid Bill or whatever, I will, I will personally go up to them and be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Stop being a bitch because you've taken L's. Like someone ever, if someone ever is like to me, oh, you only beat me because you play Kid Boo. I'll say to them, <laughs> I'll be like, yo, what? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Like, are you, obviously, like, Kid Boo's a strong character, but like, come on, man. Don't, don't shit on people for playing good characters. Just either play good characters yourself or hold the L. Because I can, like, 90% of the time, the people who complain about losing to a character aren't losing because they're playing other characters. Because of the characters they're playing against. They're losing because of themselves. I love all the complaints that's talking us about Eren. <laughs> I low-key, I love and I hate the, 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 the complaints about Scorpion. I think it's hilarious. Nah, bro, just sitting with the fact that your character gets nerfed every patch. <laughs> Kid Buu has actually been nerfed every patch. And he's still pretty good. Yo, Jake, I can't wait to play against you, man. In, uh, at versus fighting. I'm, I'm going to try and get good at, at, at Scorpion uh, and, and MK. And, like, you know, and be a good player. I really love Sub Zero's slide, though. I think I'm going to play for Nice. I might play for Nice. I think the Nice is, like, really fucking fun. The Nice is super fun. The slide and then the EX into the wall slam. That's so sick. Best fight gonna be sick. I know. Oh, I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna see everyone again. I'm actually so. I'm like more excited to see everyone than play the tournament again. I haven't seen Jake. I haven't seen C4 in a while since uh, Brussels. I haven't seen RMZ in a while. I haven't seen Raw Kid. Although I think Raw. I don't know if Raw Kid actually. I think me and Raw Kid, like not from my side, but I think Raw Kid is like have has beef with me for some reason. Whatever. I don't really care. But hopefully we can like bless things. Uh. I'm not looking forward to seeing Faisal. I really, I don't want to see him. I don't want to talk to him ever again. But whatever. We'll see if he comes to talk to me. I'm not gonna. I'm not going up to him though, unless we have to play. So whatever. Um, who else is gonna be there? Justin Xavier is gonna be there. Um, Rudy's gonna be there. And all the gang. Jinty as well. Rook is in a weird place. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Man like Zamasu. <laughs> Yo, uh, Full Metal as well. Be more, it'll be cool to meet meet Full Metal. But I actually, I actually like the guy. He's a, he's actually, I think his heart is just like really pure. <clears throat> so, but he he was just like going around down the wrong path. So he was like his heart is really pure. So it's easy for him to get influenced the wrong way. I think. Like for me and C four, it's really hard to influence us. I feel. Um, but for someone like Full Metal, who has a, like a pure heart, it's easy for someone like Faisal to influence him in the wrong way without without Full Metal realizing it. So I'm glad that we managed to get to, like to talk to him early enough. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be a really really good player. I feel like if he keeps wanting to improve and stuff, I think he'll be really strong. And he plays Brody as well, which is like, you know, Brody's fucking sick. I'm super excited for Gogeta. Oh my god, I can't wait. Ah, I can't wait. Uh, reflect? No, I'm not going to reflect. I'm in Japan. I'm in Nihon. I'm in Nihon. Is my heart pure? Um, your heart's not as pure as Full Metal's, but you... You're open to listening more than me and C4 are. Because me and C4 are very... We, we like to make our own opinions on things first. So, yeah. But I feel like you're very open, generally. Oh, yeah, you play Cell? Nah, fuck you, you ain't pure. Fumel bodied me at NBA. Yeah, I saw that. Jake, you're whack now. What the fuck? Get good again. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> nah, yeah, I saw. Yeah, he did well, man. He did really well. I think I think the wake-up call that me and C4 gave him, like, boost Zenkai boosted him. Like... Me and me and me and C4 Zenkai boosted him. I think he's I think he's really solid now. I saw him play. Gogeta is gonna be so hype. Oh, I can't wait. Gogeta's gonna be so fucking sick. Am I gonna be at Fighting Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going there, Varsi. Definitely going there. 
I'm gonna try and play Kaz. I'm gonna try and play B. Oh, I wanna play B's Kid Boo. He's gonna fucking steamroll me, but I can't wait. He's gonna fucking steamroll me. He is hungry, but it's still team doing the wrong things. He'll learn. He'll learn. <clears throat> I still haven't actually, you know what? I guess we'll end the podcast now. Um so if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for sticking out. Um if you managed to watch the whole two hours, appreciate it. If you didn't, I'll tr I'm gonna try. I think I want it to be like an hour long after this one. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, follow the stream at twitch.tv forward slash it's enigma. Um, subscribe to the YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at it's enigma. And you know, for more updates, um, join the Discord as well, which will be in the description. Uh, for more updates on when I go live and stuff. Um, and yeah, hear me talk, hear me see me play, and just generally enjoy the game. But yeah, peace out, and I'll see you later. Right, cool. So...